Thousands are still without power tonight in Mobile County due to Hurricane Zeta. NBC 15's Laura Barcheski has the latest on the recovery efforts in hard-hit Citronelle. Power and debris removal crews have been working non-stop here in Citronelle. The mayor of Citronelle says they've made a lot of progress. Almost every road has been cleared and thousands of residents now have power. Citronelle Mayor Jason Stringer says power crews have been working very quickly on recovery. Many of their efforts were focused on major streets and polling places ahead of Election Day. Our polling places will be open if we have to power them by generator, but we'll make sure that everybody has the opportunity to get out and vote. Uh, and we encourage everybody to get out and vote. And if there's anybody with transportation needs that are blocked in or something like that, we encourage them to give us a call and let us help them get to the polls because we feel like it's very important for everybody's voice to be heard when they get the opportunity to vote. Stringer says even though they have made a lot of progress, the city is still waiting on a disaster declaration from FEMA. We've got a lot of homes that are damaged and some of those are less fortunate and don't have insurance. So those types of uh, that type of support is really going to help out a lot. One Meal Mobile, along with other nonprofits, have been providing hot meals to residents like Mandy Phillips, who are still without power. Our whole house was shaking. I have two big trees down on each side of my house with two vehicles being spared and part of my tin roof is off. So. But thankfully, everybody got through it safe and we're all healthy and we're just now working on trying to get everything cleaned up. Alabama Baptist disaster relief teams are in town and helped tarp about 70 roofs today. Starting on Tuesday, they'll be assisting with debris cleanup. They say it's wonderful to see the community come together. One lady came in today and she needed some help, but she was more concerned about her neighbor than she was herself. And she wanted us to help the neighbor more than she wanted us to help her. And that's what we're seeing. Mayor Stringer says if you need help tarping your roof or cleaning up debris, you can call 211 and someone will come right to your door to help you. And he also wants to remind everyone to be more careful as they've seen an increase in injuries during this recovery process. Reporting in Citronelle, Laura Barcheski, NBC 15 News.